Hello everybody, today Kanesh Rana and I, Aditya Khanna, are going to be presenting the second most abundant element on the Earth's crust, silicon. It looks like Kanesh has a question. Let's see what it is. Aditya, could you tell me the basic information that we can get from the periodic table about silicon? Well, the symbol for silicon is SI, and the atomic number is 14, or in other words, it is the 14th element on the periodic table. It is classified as a semi-metallic because it is on the right side of the table and underneath carbon. The atomic weight is 28.085. Well, hold on. Kanish has another question. What could it be this time? That was very interesting, Aditya. Hey, can you tell me who discovered silicon and when? And what are some of its physical and chemical properties? Silicon was first characterized and prepared in pure form in 1824 by Swedish chemist Johns Jacob Brazilius. He was the first to isolate silicon by using potassium metal and potassium fluorosilate, in which, of course, contained silicon. Silicon is a solid at room temperature, and the freezing and melting points are the same at 2,570 degrees Fahrenheit. The boiling point is 4,271 degrees Fahrenheit. Silicon's um, density is greater in liquid form than in solid form. So it does not contract when it freezes, but it's, it instead expands. In solid form, the density is 2.33 grams, and in liquid form, the density is 2.57 grams. In its crystalline form, it has a gray color and metallic luster, in the, and it has high thermal conductivity. The texture is brittle and pr prone to chipping. And now from physical properties, we've come to chemical properties. So, silicon, being a metalloid, readily donates or shares its outer electrons. Under the right circumstances, this allows many forms of chemical bonding with other elements or compounds. I think I've answered all of Kanish's questions now, so... Oh wait, no! He has more questions. What is he going to ask now? That's all very interesting. But where can we find silicon in the natural world? And what are some of its daily uses in our lives? What makes it so important? In the natural world, Silicon occurs as silica or silicon dioxide. And guess where this is found? In sand, which is primarily made of silicon dioxide. No wonder silicon is the second most abundant element in the Earth's crust. In fact, a quarter of the Earth's crust consists of silicon. There are so many uses for silicon that our world won't even be the same without it. Wherever we use sand, we use silicon. Silicon has long been used in the manufacturing of glass and concrete, which are made from sand. It is also used in clay ceramics and porcelain. Silicon's most important usage came about in the last century in the computer industry. Today, silicon is omnipresent in our life. Silicon is used in thermal conductors, semiconductor electronics, integrated circuits for computers, and most importantly, computer chips. Silicon is so powerful in today's world that entire geographies are shaped by it. The famous Silicon Valley in California was the birthplace of the computer industry and today forms the basis of our networked world. Wow! I've learned so much about silicon today. All that information was amazing. Well, everybody, we hope our presentation gave you a good idea of the element silicon and its many uses in our world. Thank you for watching. That's all, folks.